squeeze. Oh, come on. There we go. Stop playing around, light. We're bringing this over here just because I know I'm going to end up using it today. Oh, hello, guys. And of course, that's going to be in the way where it's at. Let's make it easier on me. Get you out of the way, put you over here where you're not really in the way, but I can access you. All right. So today we're really going to be doing, I need to get you out of the way as well. Um, just cleaning out those dovetail grooves again. So you guys are probably going to get bored. <laughs> just joking. Um, which means I'll probably be more, uh, attentive to the chat and just answering questions. But before we start that, let's see if I can get you to do that. All right, you following me? Of course not. You send the signal that you're trying to, but there we go. So something I did over the week, um, Besides, move this bench back so that I physically have space in between the end of the bench and this. There we go. We're going to have to put some wax on that guy at some point. Open him up. And here's the Dutch tool chest, but something new. There was always that four inches of uh, clear space. Four to five inches, actually. I think I have a removable till, sliding drawer, whatever you want to call it, that now has all of my marking implements in it. So now they're not just in kind of a weird heap pile, and they're nice and organized. So, or at least they're nice and not going to be falling off the off the bench every five times I do things. So, slight upgrade, guys. <laughs> Let me get mini max where you guys can see it. And I can just sling it here. Eventually, we're going to get lumber storage sorted out so that I have, like, the lumber sitting over here or something. Ooh, that is a harsh movement. Um, and then we'll have, like, a whole flow to this place. Anyway, there we go. Thank you, Obsbot. Yeah, but right now, yeah, the boards are literally on a stack at the very end of the, the end of my bench. So it's one of those, it, they're taking up literally about 12 to 14 inches of space of my six foot bench. All right, so what we're actually doing today, let me grab all the fun stuff. We are going to be clearing out these dovetail grooves for the front shop. And we need a crosscut saw. And I'm loving the fact that it is getting much more organized with my bench. Like I, I can, you know, okay, I need this, grab it, need this, grab it. Instead of going, where did I put it last? I'm gonna pull out a couple knee knockers. Because we're gonna need them. Double check that there isn't any glue on these. Let's use this side just because it's. And how are you doing there, uh, free fall? Glad to see you're in. Next question is can I do anything about shift? Uh, 
Uh, just do it this way. All right, loud noises, guys. Ah. And now, well, first things first, I, I want to jump ahead to this chisel game, but that's not what we're doing first. I had to sit down and think about how I was going to, because stop, stop. Uh, dovetail grooves are kind of a pain to get done. I had to sit there and think, how am I going to do this? And my best idea was keep cutting recesses, chisel out as much as possible, and then pair these sides in. Of course, may need to use a different saw, but right now, just going to cross cut. Making eggs and bacon, awesome, awesome. Don't mean to sound like omnius there, but people rub off on me, I guess. Um, honestly, I had brownies and coffee for breakfast. I'm actually really glad that I hammered this guy out yesterday because like I said as soon as I got it done I was like what am I gonna put in here and I looked into my Dutch tool chest and said all of my rulers my layout stuff it's all just in a giant pile on top of the tools that have dedicated places and this is only you know three three and a half inches deep might as well throw all that in there For those who are new here, uh, we're slowly working on a moxin vise. As soon as these dovetails are cleared out and fitted, we can actually start putting hardware. To, well, we have one last thing to do joinery-wise, which is the front feet. But we can, I can at least uh, you know, dry assemble this and show you guys basically what it'll look like once these dovetail grooves are done. This is working kind of nicely. Okay, good. All right. Feel free to ask questions, guys. This is going to be a monotonous one that I'm not going to be too, too heavily involved in to the point where I can't keep track. In fact, bam, right there. Although I may go grab my cup of coffee here in about five minutes. A little bit further. At least try to kiss that line. Another exciting adventure, um, I'm getting a 3x3 three three circular patch to put that on the, on the work apron. And who knows, when things get regular, maybe I'll have collab streams and at least be able to have my little logo on me everywhere. chunklet out that splintered off if my finger will do it yep, yep there it is it's standing up be gone okay. 
but I do like the fact that this is fully removable so I can just pull it, put it on the bench. All of my marking tools are in one area. And then, you know, when I'm done, just put it into the box and they're nice and safe. And they're no longer sitting on top of planes and saws and other things. Okay, good to know. So what I'm basically doing right now is just cutting a bunch of relief cuts so that I can keep chiseling away and hopefully we'll see how I can do the angle cuts because they were kind of tricky last time anyways. But we're trying to get as much relief, cutted as, uh, relief cut as possible so we can chisel as much of this junk out as possible. The more I can chisel out, the faster this will go. <sighs> okay, yeah, coffee time. Coffee time. It's coffee time. I don't care. <laughs> We're going to just put it up here on my strong bad coaster. And we'll drink some coffee when I need it. Oh, it's nice and hot. Nice and hot. What kind, uh, how are you cooking your eggs there, uh, Freefall? Just if I can ask. It's going to be sunny side, scrambled, an omelet. You going fancy and doing eggs benedict. What we got? about doing these relief cuts is you literally have this much play so you got to go as slow as possible over easy those are good get a close-up of my face. I really do like being able to do that. As long as it obeys the commands. So now it's not just... And you get a nice close-up of Mini Max. And Big Max is enjoying the weather right now. It's been cold for two or three weeks solid, and he's loving it. So when you're doing such short strokes, lubrication comes right off the blade real fast because you're just 
centering it right on the one like three inch area of your blade that you can use. Okay. Okay. That's those. Let's see if we can do diagonals real quick. These are kind of a pain to do. But if you can get them started, it's great. Mm. Let's just focus on getting as much of this out as possible, I guess, for right now. something I have to do with a chisel like last time. All right. And so how's everyone's week been? Mine has been hectic. Work has been uh, just one crisis after another. <laughs> I do not have an angle grinder, yeah. Gator. I do have power tools, but not an angle grinder. But an angle grinder definitely probably could do the trick. I've thought about breaking down and getting my router out with the dovetail bit and just being like, okay, let's just get this done. <laughs> How are you doing, Gator, anyways? How are you doing? Ah, uh, let's just move you out of the way for now. There we go. There we go. So Gator, uh, in case you weren't here, we're basically just doing a bunch of relief cuts to chisel. This is the part that I kind of concealed from everyone last time when I did stopped sliding dovetails was cutting out the mass majority of all this material because it is tedious work and unfortunately this week I didn't find time to do it off camera so that's what we're doing today oh I'm doing pretty good just hectic at work Basically, so give me a second here. What we're doing, let me get all this chunk wood off of here. <clears throat> and these are real nasty looking, but we're making sliding, uh, sliding dovetails that are stopped about a, and they're about. I want to say three inches long, but right now I'm just kind of chiseling out the waste as much as possible so I can just use a chisel and chunk out as much as possible before I got to do the angled sides anymore. Basically, we started with an angled cut here, an angled cut here, and started chipping our way out, but we're at the part where I have to be inventive. I am mediocre at it. Mediocre at dovetails at the moment. I can do regular dovetails fairly fine. And by fine, I mean they work. They might be a little gappy, but they work. Sliding dovetails are a new beast to me. And I went a step further and made them stopped. So I can't just go all the way through. If these were through sliding dovetails, 
we wouldn't have this problem. I would just saw, 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 and chisel all of it out real easily, but we've got that inch of material at the end that is not getting broken out. Oh dang, those all came up at the same time. We'll have to look at the timers on those. Sorry about that spamming. I'll look at the timers and get those uh, adjusted so that they stagger themselves. Get them on different multiples. Get one on a multiple of two, one on a multiple of three, one on a multiple of five. <laughs> Just so that they're different enough. OBS doesn't crash on me today like it did last time. But I did get the update, so hopefully that fixes it. But yeah, dovetails are more or less a patience game. Because hand cutting them is more of a cut them to relatively fit each other and then trim them to absolutely fit each other. If they fit together on your first try, you're, you've done dovetails a lot. Um, but it's not something that's supposed to happen. You're supposed to cut them tight and then get them to fit. Uh, and then trim them to actually fit. But yeah, going to definitely have to look at the timers on my Sir spam a lot messages. Relief cut. <sighs> yeah, it's a lot rougher than I thought it was going to be. A lot more steps to getting the material out, I think, is the big thing. But the good thing is, is nobody needs to see what the dovetail looks like on the stopped side. So if you uh, botch that up and you have to taper it or whatever to make it fit, nobody knows because you're only going to see the presentation side way out here where you cut it nice. I'm not saying that I definitely did that on other parts of this, but I definitely did. Second. Like I said, cutting with only three inches of your saw. This is this guy is definitely going to need a sharpening after this project. I'm going to definitely need to make sure that all the teeth are the same height too, because I've been just using the the toe uh, the the, the uh, toe of the of the saw here for these cuts. Uh, these will be glued after a bit. Once I do a full, the final assembly, I will be gluing some of, some of the tails to each other. Um, this will actually lock in the feet tails, so I'm not too worried about lock, uh, gluing them. Because these will physically, like this will get glued in, but the feet 
to the table are going to get locked in because this is glued in. Hey, Random, how you doing? Best of luck to that. I kind of had to bow out of the... Oh, wow, this isn't even cut all the way down. Dang it. Uh, um, I kind of had to bow out of that. I was going to make a... I was going to make a camp chair and table. And uh, let me grab the piece of wood here so you guys can laugh. Also, with it being that zoomed in, you're not going to... Well, we can see it. Um, basically, the router decided to unplunge itself. And screwed up everything. So, it, disregard how bad this looks. This is me trying to restart it, but like it started to eat into the pattern here. Um, this is me just, this big blobby thing is me trying to restart it. Good thing though is... This is probably going to turn into a uh, solid cherry turning saw because I can lay the pattern out real easy on this and um, just cut that out and use the turning saw to make them later on in life. All right, coffee and some cutty. Finish this cut. So, what does your uh, project entail, there, Tinkerer? Um, what kind of set are you making? How you doing? Oh, appreciate stopping by. Not going to keep you from work, though. Set of bar tools. Awesome. Like a uh, drinking bar or bar stock? Let's see if we can do the angle cut. Let's see if we can finish the relief for the angle cuts here. I'm not saying I can or can't. I'm just saying it's going to be a pain. cut. Ah. Okay, yeah, drinking bar tools. Gotcha. So, uh, craftsmen were continuing on with stopped, do uh, stopped sliding dovetail groups. Just so you know, um, right now I'm just doing a bunch of saw cuts to relief them so that I can continue chiseling it out. Um, don't remember the last time you stopped in, how far we were along with the Mox and Vice, but if you got questions or if you want to know how far we are, I can definitely stop and show you. Just 
Looks like it's working. Yay, it's working. We can at least get a good chunk of it removed and then the rest can be chisel work at the very end. In fact, to be able to get this to work properly, we need to do a little bit. Mm, no, we're going to be fighting that all the way down. I can tell. So. Just every one, once in a while, angle it to chip away at what we're doing to relief, and then level. Sounds like everyone at this point, man. I'm like, I didn't stream Wednesday because I work was literally just took everything out of me that day. Part of the sawing takes forever because we're just trying to get this to do. And to tell you the truth, I honestly went to using a chisel on the last set, but it, it ended up being very ugly. So I'm trying to be good and do it the right way this time and get as much of it defined with a saw as possible. So that we have at least mostly the angle to reference off of. Almost all the way up. hoping to at least get to something more exciting than me sawing relief cuts to get this these guys done but no promises guys no promises especially with these angle cuts oh you're moving on me we're barely making any progress here i think just define it on both sides and slowly work our way down as we can Almost off screen. Hello. I was but you, oh, you, you caught me. There we go. You 
Okay, I know you react better to the left hand. Thank you. Okay, man. Okay, yeah, this is going to be a long, tedious journey, I guess. There we go. Hardest part is getting it started since it was an angled cut. Like I said, I'm just trying to define this angle as far down as possible so that we have a reference face to go off of with chisels. Let me move this so you guys can see my ugly, ugly face. Because the chiseling part actually goes very fast. It's trying to define these walls that takes forever. Actually, since we're doing the angled cuts, whoop, let me do this. Oh, my coffee's bouncing around like there's a T-Rex ready for us. Honestly, I don't need it to hold the board down. I need it to hold the board from moving. So if I do this instead, then I got a nice stop, got some clearance for my saw to not cut things, and I can just shift it if I'm getting too close to that. Oh, this feels better. Yeah, I'm not losing energy with the with the wood moving forward. Oh, Jesus. Hello. 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 Come on, Obspot. Um, there we go. Should just get you locked here. Thank you. Okay. Let's try again. Okay. Half the fun is fighting with Obsbot. Um, yeah, this is this is making the cut much easier because I can angle down further without having to worry about hitting the bench. Which means we might actually get through all of this. Or get through as much that we can do with the saw because we're getting pretty far down in this one okay good that makes me feel better guys ah <sighs> sorry for like the very very boring look okay so we want it to actually lock a little bit further this way Yes, I, I, I realize Minimax is in the way, but please be smart. 
There we go. Use that robot intelligence that we gave you. We're not going to be able to get all of it sawn down, but as far as we can is what we're looking for. We're looking to get this saw as level for as far as we can. So like the last three eighths of an inch may not get sawn correctly, but that's compared to three inches, that's nice or at least all of it has a nice defined top edge to go off of, which is more important because then I can just have the chisel follow the angle down instead of like my first one where I kind of just didn't think about going through the monotonous trial of this and tried to follow the angle with my chisel all the way and ended up like almost going completely vertical by the end of it. Okay, I think that's as good as that one's gonna get. <sighs> How woodworkers struggle, part one. Let's see if I can do this ambidextrously. The answer is most likely no, but gotta try. Oh God, I can't even keep the thing from waving around now. Yeah, this is working way better. Okay, there. Heck, I got a nice defined groove. Let's just go. Okay, this may make it a little bit easier. Yay! Got my defined groove. Let's stand up and just go for it. Rewax. Don't worry if this, this puck's getting small. I got a second puck in the mail about a week ago. Um, like I said, I know how to make it, but I'd rather just buy it from James Wright at this point because that's less stuff I've got to do on my own free time. In fact, James Wright does teach you how to make it, um, but... For any of those interested in what I'm using as hard wax, he does sell it on woodbyright.com. I think it's like six bucks a puck. I've had this for a year now and I'm only at like half puck. Oh, yeah. So I may not have needed to buy that puck until next year, but 
Yeah, I just decided to buy it anyways. This is working a lot better now. I'm, yay! These might actually fit much, much tighter than the first set of stop dovetails I cut. Like I said, I'm not trying to get the entire side sawn. I'm just trying to get as much as possible. This portion I still have to clean up with a chisel anyways, but and I know I'm a repeating warehouse on what I'm doing, so as deep as we're going on this round before chiseling for that one. Now, we continue on with the saga of cut that dovetail. My goal is to be breaking out the chisels before the end today. Um, I really don't want to do a long stream. I've got stuff to do. So I'm hoping to get to a really good stop in point before lunch. Now, will I do a little bit longer and then stop for lunch? Maybe, most likely. Because if I get into a role where I'm going to actually get something productive done, I'll probably just keep going until my stomach says food. Food, moron. Food. I just realized this, and I'm sorry for anyone who has... Okay, we haven't had... Okay, good, good, good. We haven't had any actual redeems, but I just realized that my redeem stuff was... Not visible. Let's see if I can do it. Mm -hmm. Fine. Thank you. A little bit here. Come on. I'm a face. I swear I'm a face. Come on, Obspot. Come on. As, as much of a pain as it is at times, I still like the thing. Come on. I'm a face. I swear upon my honor, I'm a face. There we go. Just got to swear upon your honor and then threaten it within an inch of its little robot life. So... What I'm doing to be able to do these dovetailed out faces is I had cut an original one like this, a little bit overcut, so I'm kind of nibbling at it level and then bringing it back down so that we're slowly making our way down, but I'm probably only making it halfway down because honestly, once, once we get up here, it's probably going to be chisel work to define most of it. 
but I'm trying to get as much of the face defined as possible of the so that I have something to register the chisel on. So you'll see me routinely dropping and raising my elbow and that's just so I can keep going down as much as possible. But the closer we get to the bottom line, the less I can pull that trick, which is why at some point I just call it and say, this is as good as we're getting. And we're kind of getting there with this one. It's actually closer to three fourths the way down the dovetail. Now that I'm looking at it and you only have like a quarter of an inch to go. Okay, let's see if I can get this one started decently. Yeah, it's starting. Okay, good. That means we can saw this guy going fairly good. get defined with a saw the more the the less the chisel has to define and that's my goal the less the chisel has to define the better this joint's gonna be numbingly slow work not gonna lie what I'm doing in fact if you have a, a dovetail bit and a router much much more recommend just using a dovetail bit and a router because this is mind-numbing now if it was a full through dove sliding dovetail mm, no I'll, I'll use a saw all day long because I can just cut that angle, cut that angle, cut a recess angle, and just chisel and go. But stop dovetail, yeah. Router and then chisel the back to be 90 degrees. <laughs> all day long. I can definitely attest to that at this point. Come on. reason why I'm able to go deeper on this side than anywhere else is because I accidentally bored the hole over the line so it's got less stuff it's got it's got less stop than the others where they which is fine I rather have one that goes almost there because this one is actually digging deeper than all the others. I might actually be able to get to the line with this one. Or get very close to the line. I think we're getting to the point of no return though. All right. Let me go. Uh... And why do I wax my saw before putting it up? Um... Twofold. It cleans the sawdust off and it puts a little bit of lubricant on it. All right. Now let's go grab that magical chair.
we'll fix the uh, fix what you're seeing here in a bit. All right. Okay. Actually, I don't know if I need to fix it. Yeah, I do. Just a little bit. Swing it around town. Okay. Sorry, sometimes I just have to check. Um, all right. A little bit of go juice. It's getting a little cold. Let's put her on the heater and then we're gonna start chiseling, guys. Chisel time, chisel time. Do, 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 do. Yeah, this will do. Chisel time, chisel time. Do, 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 do. Okay, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. The seat is verifiably useless. Okay, cool. It's just not where I want it. So we're going to make it where I want it. Give me a depth stop here. Something to stop you, something to stop you. Yes, I know it's weird. I know it's weird. There we go. Chisel time, chisel time. Finally doing something productive, chisel time. We going somewhere now, guys. Uh, let's see if we can get the big boy in here to clear out the fun. Yeah, no, big one's too big. Cherry chips, cherry chips. Getting rid of these cherry chips. Look at that beautiful dovetail forming. Oh, yes. Feeling so good and happy. Mmm. Love it when a plan comes together. goofy today. If you can't handle that, sorry. But it's not changing. I'm just going to be goofy today. Oh my, yep. We found the, we found the noble way to do it. The I think, yep, 
those first ones for the legs were definitely my first attempt. Learned some things. This is great. These are working. Actually, one second. Thank you. That works. But this is working great. So if you can define it with a saw, awesome. Get as much of it defined with a saw as earthly possible. And normally some of these get hidden anyways. So overcutting, as long as you can conceal the overcut. I am learning and loving. I cut way down in here. That makes me happy. I'm like, I'm still seeing troughs of what I cut down the edges. Means we got very little cleanup to do on the sides. Oh yeah. We may even be able to get to using the, uh, the old 71 router. Getting somewhere. I'm invigorated. Who knows? Maybe it will be a long string. Let me get the brush out. See if I can clear out the hole as much as possible with him. Yeah, I think we are we are at that point. Oh yeah. Sorry, I'm too excited about woodworking, I guess. Sorry guys. Look at that nice defined edge and I can just do this. Yeah, we might uh, we might just be waiting until this is excavated. We may even get to trimming the actual dovetails to fit. This is going swimmingly. Okay. So what we really need to do is
chunk out as much as possible and then we're going to start defining edges. I'm happy. I'm very happy. Because this is going to make, tr this is the part that I was worried about because last time it was a pain in the butt. Because I was, I did it bass backwards. And uh, ended up making a lot more work for myself. Okay, so note to self. Ten more minutes on the saw means like a ton, of, or 30 minutes on the saw. It takes a lot of the chisel work that was a pain right out. Because now I can just do this and go, okay. And it is just defining beautifully along that edge. Oh, yeah. Yep, I think we're going to be able to get to routing it out and getting it nice and beautiful and seeing if it'll all fit by the end. Who knows? Who knows? Not me. I do not know. This is too big. Or at least we're going to get a decent way in. Nope, can't use that that direction. Oh wow, this is this is going swimmingly. Now because if I get everything defined down to this point, we're at router depth. Basically where I'll take the last few out with the router and clean up the corners with one of my chisels. In fact, I may just take this thing off the... Uh, bench and show you what I mean by like, we're getting close. find the back wall here um, okay I'm glad you guys didn't see how I did the original the feet um, because I did it wrong way wrong um, compared to how this is going. I'm glad you guys are seeing this because this is much better. So yeah, saw, re saw relief cuts as much as possible and define it off with the saw. Just to give you an idea, I'm almost to the point of routering. Last time it took two hours to get to that point. So I sh I'm shaving an entire hour of work or more. 
just because I was patient with the saw. Okay, well, let's clean. Oh, no, 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 no. Final lock. We know that the inch and a quarter is too big, but we want a big chisel. Ah, the inch will do because we want to make it as good as possible. wall is beautiful. So yeah, let me free this up and show you guys how far we've got. And remember that like over half of the material was still in there this morning. So this is where, where the one I haven't been touching recently is. Remember like there's a quarter inch down here and it was almost full back here. This is the one I have been working on. We're basically at router depth at this point, and we got a nice defined edges all the way back. We are doing good, guys. So I think we will be getting to, let me, beginning to router and possibly fitting here real soon. I will be stupid happy if we get that far. All right, get you back. You're at router time. Let's get you to router time. Inventive ways that I restrain my work. There we go. Okay. No, not well, big boy for a little bit. Because the force is much more. second. Sorry, I'm just a little excited about the fact that we're getting as far as we are. Okay, this one's going to have a problem edge at the very top, but nothing I can't deal with.
Here. The edge is now defined. I'm going to take a couple pairing swipes at it. And now it's right. I probably need to tone it down, but I don't think people have seen me this excited on, on Twitch yet, but I am excited this is all working the way it should be. And deal with it. I have high energy and I'm loopy. Chunkers. Okay, define the back wall. Define the back wall. Cut cross grain first. Super fat one because we want to make a recess cut as far as we can down here. Okay, we're going to do it on all of them because we're basically at that point of breaking out the router. I say basically because we have a couple. We have cleaning up this back wall and then router time. Router time. Router time. Doot, 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 doot. Router time. Yeah, I'm sorry. Y'all have to deal with me in this hyper state. But it's also one of those, oh, you're, you're bound to find out about it at some point. Now we have to actually think about the setup of how these bricks are because that, which isn't that hard. And also since it's router time, this is actually easier sitting down. Um, let me grab some coffee. Coffee has been grabbed. Oh wow, Minimax, you covered in, uh, you're covered in Cherry Flex. All right, guys. Well, let's do that for now. That for now. Do a new. Cleaning, cleaning, cleaning the table. comes the sad part. I didn't check to see if I'm able to use the router. And what do you mean by that? I mean, I hope the router goes deep enough. I didn't even think about that. These are fairly deep dovetails. And if it doesn't, we pair with chisels. Is 
fine, but we do need do need a smaller template for it to be hammered on. Maybe this. should do. Okay. All right, guys, pray for the depth. Oh, boy. And that's a solid note. This is really gonna be pairing like I can do this right now but we are a solid like sixteenth of an inch short and I already have it at super deep setting but means I just got to go at it with a chisel. I mean, this is not going to do anything for me. Sorry, can't use my favorite tool, guys. Can't use my favorite tool. All right, well, looks like we got to just do it this way then. Still getting there. So. Still getting there. Let's move coffee within an arm's grasp. And we'll just keep going. Like I said, regardless, we're going to get these guys done. Wait, why am I using the... Okay. We'll use the big, big boy when it's time to truly pair. We'll use big boy then because he can go over three quarters of the base of it. flavored coffee. I need to think about that before I do it.
wants to find that line so I know when we're there. You gotta clean these up as well as you're going down. Clean up the sides a little bit. wipes. There you are. We may actually get to uh, fitting the uh, sliding dovetails into this before the end of the day. I didn't realize it was going to go this fast. I thought I was going to get frustrated and only get halfway through one. How wrong was I? Okay, we do need to clean out these corners though. Just a little bit more and then we move on to the other one.
Okay. okay. Clean up the hairy spots. spot to disappear. Okay, moving on to the next. <laughs> la, 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 la. Okay, you get touched last. You get to be the main man. Ah. Move the coffee out of destruction ring. I really do wish the router could go deep enough for these. But to do it this way, you got to do it this way. Ow! I love banging my hands against this table. So I'm not going to complain about it. I'm just going to get it done. That's much thicker than the other side was. Or at least it appears to me to be much thicker. Nope. Although... Okay, never mind. Sorry, I just want to check. Okay, no, we're not worried. We do need to remove that much more material. Just my brain is sitting here going, it just feels so much deeper. Yeah, 
second off. Second biggest, just because you'll reference its lateral area. break. Union mandated coffee break. Clean the fuzzy edges, clean and then fuzzy edges. All right. Up to the indiscriminate. I Final bottom. Fuzzy ends. We're actually getting there, guys. We're actually getting there. All right, let me see, show you guys where we're at, because I am proud, proud of my work, I say. I mean, there's still a few fuzzies that need to be cleaned out. And I realize now I'm not down to the depth on one of them. pretty good. This one still needs a little bit because I can see the gauge line here. It's barely there. So I need to get a little bit there. But I mean, like I said, there's just some fuzzies. 
that need to be cleaned out. I need to do a little bit lower on this guy and we're done. So, before I start hammering this guy into the bench, let's get all that cherry back off. Look at all this cherry. Go down just a head more. Do not bother me. It doesn't bother me actually in the slightest. I was kind of wondering about the about the difference, and as soon as I inspected, it, I was like, ah, that's the difference. There's still a 30 second shallow on this one. There we go. That is our edge. And we play the peel it up game. out of the way but yeah we may try to dry fit these guys together see how we're doing as far as trim to fit I don't know if we'll do that just yet because that is tedious work Let's see where we're at. I'm gonna put these in here just to keep them safe so they don't bounce off of the table. These are just slat wood. Once again, they move the knee knockers into a position that they are not in the way. right now trimming the hair is not all that big of a deal because that's gonna have to happen anyways I'm gonna see how much hair we got to trim okay so that's our nice rear chop face our nice legs and top do they even fit the answer is yes, but no. But you get the idea. They're going to slam down when I can get them defeated. And I know what I need to do. Hell, let's just start trimming. We might as well. I'm going insane, guys, I swear. Keep that.
narrow as expected and one of the easiest ways to do this actually why am I looking at you you're already fitted terribly but fitted one of the easiest ways to start this is to start grabbing planes this one in particular um, Actually, not planes. I need to. Yes, go. This is something that usually happens. Me. Let's see. I just relieve these edges a little bit because I don't have a proper dovetail plane, so these are usually a little bit fat. And this kind of keeps it a little bit uniform how much I take off. starts it. Cool. Now you guys get to see the agony of me trying to get these things to work. Okay. Okay. Much tighter than the last one. Good. Good, good, good. These are driving much, much tighter. But that also helps. Okay, so part of what the problem is, is I can't cut these things worth a dang. Ding, dang, diddly dum. All right, so. We need to, there's a little fat portion on these that I need to get rid of. So, there's me a little stop. There we go. Knee knockers. useless to hit the uh, knee knockers in. Basically what it is, is we've got this high area right down the middle. If you notice, my shavings are coming off right, you know, right here. That's exactly what we're dealing with. So 
this is the part that I was saying, like, it's kind of an agonizingly slow process because I'm just quite literally shaving, shaving everything until it all fits. Just shave a little bit, try it, shave a little bit, try it, shave a little bit, try it. That one has been shaved. Shave a little bit and try it. This one I think is the bigger offender. Mainly because I can still see the saw mark where we should have actually ended up at which tells me we never actually got this thing to the proper angle. Actually, really glad that we're getting somewhere with this today. I was afraid all you guys would see me do is chisel away and get make no progress, but we are at the point of trying to dry fit these guys onto the front. Once we get to that point, once they fit, it means start carving out the feet. And we'll be getting really close to glue time. Okay, flip. That isn't blood. Okay, we're good. Okay. Bring up that interior fuzzy corner. Okay. Time to try and assemble again. probably don't 
need you anymore. We definitely don't need you. Let's get some tools off of the bench that don't need to. Oh, geez. Um, hmm. One second here, guys. I don't really have moderators today, but we do need to do this. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. There we go. Hopefully there's not a cool down on that. Maybe there is. There's probably a one minute cool down control C. There we go. Now we're up to. All right. And honestly, you kind of want to do this with it fully put together. So let's. Okay. B to B, A to A. Rubber mallet, you're the one. Because we see stuff really fun. Rubber mallet. Okay. Blup, blup. There's only one way this one goes on, so. Still not seating over there? Okay, I see how that problem is. This one seats, this one does not, and I see why. I don't want to do that. Fine. Oh, how's it doing down at the base? Okay, cool. Mainly you want to do it together because then you see problems like that. Okay, which side was it that I need to shave? Because I, I need to correct this. Okay. Okay, there. Okay. Like I said, it's tedious work. Tedious work. Tedious, but it's pretty much required at this point. All right. Is there a way I can do this without... You don't need to be there. Thank you. Flip it up. There we go. Okay. And there's still a gap. Good. All right. So here's the fun part. I told you this saw wall was a little iffy. Well, yes, it definitely is. Basically,
Okay. Like I said, it, putting this guy together is going to be tedious. Robert Taki. <laughs> okay, good. Big old snug fit. This is <laughs> all right. Rubber mallet because wood dense. swinging away on me. Let's see what we got here as far as rubs. So we got a little bit on the interior edges. Like I said, this may be where we actually leave it. Because like I said, it is one of those proverbial shows of fun. Hmm? I kind of want to just look at how it is in here. Okay. 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 Yeah, okay. We need to fix the dovetails just a little bit. They still have that hump. But as far as I am concerned, guys, like I can't go any further. I'm running out of juice. Sorry. Sorry that we are running out of juice. Oh, so let us find someone to raid out to because I am definitely running out of juice here. Well, let's see. We got Texas. We got Snake Eye. I mean, honestly. Okay. All, all bets off. Hula is always a good one to watch. Mm -hmm. Crass, fun, and fun. Not much woodworking. Not much woodworking. Got one German woodworker, but it is listed as actually in German, and I don't want to raid in and not be able to communicate. Yeah, let's raid out to uh, Texas Hula here. He's a good bud. All right, guys. Thanks for uh, thanks for having the having a fun time here. See you guys Wednesday. But let's go say hi to my friend Texas Hula. If I can type. If I can put in the right command. All right, guys, like I said, have a good one. Thanks for showing up. Uh, most likely, I'll have that trimmed and ready to put feet on completely by Wednesday. I think so, and if not, we'll be 
dang close. So have a good one, guys. Raiden out.